guys welcome back to another video if you are new thank you for clicking on this thumbnail i am tamika and welcome to my channel i do a lot of things ultrasound and also family lifestyle here on my channel so if you're interested in either one of those or just following my family we would love to have you so today's video is actually going to be about before you choose ultrasound what you should know let's get into this video I have five tips for you today and the first one is school is hard I'm not gonna lie to you um so previous videos I've said you know school is what you pretty much make it and it could be easy or it could be hard no it's just flat out hard um, I had a lot of difficult time going through school, the studying, the physics, the momentum to keep going, the um, the whole just like the struggle of it all. It's a real struggle bus, believe me. Um, I don't believe it's a easy roller coaster up and down. No, it's a lot of turns, loops, ups and downs, taking your breath away. It's you, you have to be motivated. You have to be motivated for this field, um, any field actually, but the physics portion could really get to you. Learning the anatomy could get to you. If you don't know anything about the body and you're trying to learn like what the normal values are of a liver or a pancreas or the thyroid, I mean, all of it could be very overwhelming. Entering this field, going to school, it's going to be hard, but you could do it. If you put your mind to anything, you could do anything you want. Um, you're gonna, there's a lot of studying. There's a lot of like no free time. If you have a family, if you have kids, you have to learn how to juggle your time very well. Um, but just know that you, the hard work is, it. there is hard, just know that there is hard work. But if you actually, dedicate time for studying and if you know apply yourself in this you could do it absolutely hands down um, tip number two finding a job after ultrasound can be difficult I'm not gonna sugarcoat that finding a job can be difficult but you're gonna have to put in the work um, it's either emails it's dry phone calls to hospitals to clinics to radiology clinics doctor's offices orthopedic clinics things that you just have to try to put yourself that one foot in the door will be your first step to the rest of your career and you can't just sit back and wait for indeed to bring you a job or monster or linkedin those are all great avenues however or search engines but you can't just depend on those you're gonna actually have to do the work it's getting on the computers it's calling the hospitals it's calling the lead techs it's putting yourself out there and letting them know hey i finished school i put in my time i need someone to give me an opportunity to prove myself and also to get myself in the door i mean a lot of jobs right now are off fresh out of school they don't really want you they want that person with at least one to three years of experience so like I said, the opportunities are out there, but you're going to have to dig for them. They're not going to just be laid to you on a platter and served to you that way. But um, finding a job can be hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, this video is very factual, is very like intense, and it's the raw deal. Tip number three, pay. Pay may not be what you want fresh out of school. Um, you might have to take a job that is 15 to 25 dollars an hour I'm just saying you're not gonna go for the gusto right out of school they're not gonna give it to you they're trying to get you for cheap money cheap hourly pay for quality work but that's just a bullet you're gonna have to bite once you move up in like experience and time put in then that's when you can start asking for the big bucks if you want to say um it's fresh out of school right now especially with the pandemic going on it's not it's not a huge they're not opening up the doors like hey like they were last year 
um, things have changed, but they will get back to normal. You just have to understand, like, going into a job right now, right out of school, your, your first intent, your only thing that you should be focused on is, yes, I have a job. And they're paying me $10 an hour, but they won't pay you that. I'm just being overzealous. What I'm trying to point out to you is that they gave you an opportunity. They gave you that job. Now accept that job. Do your dang best at that job. Show them that, oh my gosh, like she's really, she shows up to work on time, she's applying herself, and she is doing what we're asking. She's doing the patience, she's keeping up with patient flow, she has, she's not a thorn to the facility, the, the, the staff here, she's actually putting in her worth, and we're going to have to honor that. So, right off, right off the bat, they're probably not going to pay you what you want, your ideal rate is, you know, just say 45 out of the out out of school. You probably will only get 25 to 30. Um, and I'm just being real with you. But that's only for like maybe the six like first six months to a year being in this field. After that, you could ask once you get your registries, once you get multiple registries, once you get that one year under your belt, then you can ask for the world. Until then, you're you're pretty much kind of playing it by their game. And that's just the harsh reality of it um will you stay there no absolutely not my first job 21 dollars an hour now i can go into the door asking no this is what i want i want this much money i want this much pay per hour i want this much pay per patient i could go in and ask for those things because i've done my due diligence i've done the work i i could show them they know that my 20 years experience is really going to help their establishment so when you apply for a job and you're just now getting out of school they're pretty much looking at you okay well we could replace her if she's not good so we're not going to give her top money or we could replace him he's not that good or whatever so going in the door first job you have to shine one that's your like you have to shine that is like one that is your recommendation for your next job this is your references that you're working with like you're building all of that integrity for your career so first job you have to kill it rule number four working hours Working hours are not going to be your typical eight to five. If you find that, that is ideal. However, just know you might have to be per diem, which means, hey, Susie called in and we need you to come in like from one to seven. I need you there, that's per diem. Per diem doesn't have set hours. Per diem just pretty much fills the gaps where ultrasound um, in the hospitals or in a clinic where they need you. So they might call you that morning and you might have plans, but if they need you, that you need to be able to fill that. And you want to be able to fill that because if a full-time job comes up or comes open, you want to be able to say, okay, yep, Melissa, you get the job. Yep, Tim, you get the job because you actually showed up and showed out. Um, but if you're that person, if you per diem and they hire you and they take that chance with you and every time they call you, you say, oh, I can't cover, I can't do this, they're pretty much are going to hang the, hang the, hang up the hook, hang the jacket on the hook. We're done with that person. We're going to move on to the next. Um, so just know going into your first job, you may not get the hours you want. You might have to work graveyard. You might have to be on call. That's just like again like per diem per diem pretty much is you might be guaranteed eight hours in a week but on call you're not guaranteed any hours they just need you when they call you um but just know that's that's how it is you know going out into the field i was blessed to get a full-time job right out of school um and i know a couple of people that have and so a lot of my students that i've trained have gotten full-time jobs um but you know again they're going into a job knowing what it takes to get that job done they know that they could uphold a 12 patient work list because working with me you definitely will be um able to go into a hospital go into a radiology clinic and be able to sustain yourself sustain their work list that they have for you 
every tech has a schedule and you will be able to manage that schedule you're going in the door knowing this um, you know how to do a abdomen I train my text to do it in 15 minutes or less you're gonna be able to do an abdomen you're gonna spend no more than 30 minutes on a pelvic you're going from a student to a tech once you leave my my training you go on the interview you have to scan for them so when they see their potential when they scan for their interviews or at their interviews they're like oh yeah like she's she could pick up our schedule real quickly it's because that's how I trained them um, a lot of schools will nurture you and get you into the externship but then they kind of forget about you well what about the tools what will I need to know walking into a hospital what will I need to know walking into a radiology clinic if you don't know those things the schools are not going to teach you they got your money they don't really want to deal with you after that and we're going to get you up to this point and that's it and pretty much I mean the harsh reality is is that you're just money to them they're training you, they're giving you this information, they're equipping you for an ultrasound job, which is wonderful, which is awesome, because if those classes, if those schools were not out there, I wouldn't have a job. I just know that going to colleges, um, like vocational colleges, and they say, oh, you know, our placement is this, or our placement, you know, is 90% after school, or after you graduate, we guarantee you a job. Don't believe in that just know that you're getting the education and you're gonna have to find that after school a lot of schools promote this but nine times out of ten they're not gonna help you find a job so with knowing that I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> um, I don't want you to get scared just know that like my 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 school did not help me find a job um, my teacher actually my scanning teacher actually believed in me enough to say hey Tamika you're good and you it's a natural for you you're just natural and I'm gonna help you apply for this job besides that I wouldn't have had gotten a job at a school if it wasn't for him so everybody needs a mentor everybody needs a little guidance um, I'm just putting that out there and if you don't have that support you're pretty much on your own you know I mean you would want someone who's vested in this career to kind of like lead you and like this is the way that you should do it and so that's what he did for me and I don't know if you guys know this but this is a little plug a little plug before I get to the end of this video but I did open up a mentorship program um, I will leave all the details down below and once you send me an email I will forward you an email from me it does cost but it's affordable and I do accept payment plans. So I just wanted to plug that in real fast, but um, because I just wanna offer what was given to me and you know, I feel I'm huge at paying it forward. So I had a lot of people take me under their wing, believe in me, and I just wanna do the same for you guys. Details will be down below in the description. Number five, we made it to number five. Okay, so yes like I've been saying this is a cutthroat type of field it's fun it's exciting once you get into it but before you get there you're gonna be the low man on the totem pole I'm sorry to say but you're entering in a field where there's a lot of seasoned techs and we don't go nowhere once we have a job we pretty much stay set and when you filter through we kind of evaluate you which is wrong to do but they do um, if you're not holding up your weight if you don't know how to scan if we have to go back and continue to look at your images or the doctors like okay well Mary Lou she missed this then we're gonna we're just gonna tell the radiology supervisors like she's not working he's not working it's too much stress for us because here we are we're doing our patients and we have to go back behind them to look at their exams and their patients it's it's cutthroat period dot if you don't know how to hold your weight if you don't walk into that place and they're not accepting they're gonna let that radiology manager know and nine times out of ten you'll probably lose your job um, working with women can be catty as well sorry to say but we like to run our mouth we have to admit it women we do unfortunately we do 
but with that being said um we have good hearts we just want our environment to run well and if we're all working on oranges over here this might be a wrong parable but if we're working on oranges over here and you come in bringing oranges I mean apples and pineapples and bananas and we got to go back and fix that to make it look like oranges it's a lot of work and we don't want that we want someone that's going to come in she's gonna know what he or she's going to know what to do off the bat we're not gonna have to train we're not gonna have to invest our time past the time that we're all already investing into the company scanning and doing our patient flow and if you can't hold up your 12 patients and I got my 12 patients and now I'm adding your 12 patients because I got to go back and look and evaluate yours it's a lot so this field can be cutthroat you can get fired by word of mouth just letting you know um so i was not fired but they had an off-site that they wanted me to go work at because they felt like i didn't blend in with their group over here and so it didn't matter to me at that time but looking back it was like wow this is why i'm telling you guys because um it has happened to me it has happened to me I was that person that they felt like I didn't fit into their oranges and because of that they told the manager they had higher rank than me they told the manager and he put me off at another site um, and I didn't work with them for a while until they got to know me until they saw okay wait she is beneficial she does do the things that we thought she didn't do so but now we're good friends I mean we're girlfriends and, and and it's crazy but I love those girls and I love working with them when I did but in the beginning it was hard I cried to my mom like how am I gonna make a breakthrough like how can I show them you know and with me being off at another site they didn't see my work every day they didn't see but going into a new site they didn't know me who is this girl she's coming in we don't know her she thinks she knows everything and we don't like her attitude so we're gonna tell the manager and she they're gonna send her to another site well it's just all because they didn't know who I was and they were just going off of what they felt in which was unfortunate but it does happen in this field working with women I'm gonna put that out there again working with women they go off their feelings and we are feeling people like we women do do that um, and I'm not throwing stones or anything I'm just letting you know this field is predominantly women and you're gonna have to learn how to work with women you're gonna have to work with older older women and also um just know how to cohabitate in that little small fate small space of work area um one might think that this area over here is hers and you don't put your stuff over there and another one m might think her stuff goes over there and once you do try to put your stuff there you go find it sitting in a diff different spot because they're like no we don't we don't really mingle that way this is my area you don't touch it and that's just how it is so those are the five points that i wanted to point to you before choosing the field of ultrasound i know it sounds scary i know it sounds overwhelming but hindsight of it all everything that i've gone through everything i've been through it has been so beneficial and that's my next video the five points on why you should choose ultrasound because it's a great field I'm not gonna lie so but before I end this video I just wanted to offer my I want to open up my heart because it really is about my heart I mean I want to pour into other people and really guide them on this path I really hope you consider taking my mentorship program and also I am opening up a boot camp for five people to come and train with me for three days um, and it won't be everybody there at once because uh, duh COVID but 
um, I will schedule those and I am opening up uh, in October that's the launch time and I'm hoping it's in October but um, that's definitive I'll give you guys the exact one probably over on Instagram first but um, so if you're not following me over on Instagram please follow me on Instagram I would love to have you over there too all the details of my boot camp will be in my next video but I wanted to put that out there. You can email me. My email is in my description always. And you can also follow me on Instagram and DM me over there. Message me over there as well. If you're interested in the program and I will send you the information. But all the details on when I'm opening and all that will be in next Tuesday's video. So I really hope you guys like this video. Uh, you don't understand. I'm so close to that thousand and it's so because of you guys. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. I love you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.